Yeah, very big welcome to you, my dear Pisces. So the sun, when we look at it, is now in Capricorn. And Capricorn is the attachment, but Capricorn is also when we cut ourselves off from the source. And we have the solution, right? Kundalini points at the third eye. And so when we work ourselves up to the third eye, we dance. We do the dancer's pose. And so Saturn that rules here, um, Capricorn, is bringing usually the um, borders and the understanding that maybe we have to recognize that here in this dimension we have certain limitations. And so Capricorn is giving the light to the moon, which is in your sign right now. And I am giving you now the Osho Tarot, the Zen Tarot, not the Marseille Tarot anymore, because I don't know, I just felt it, right? It just came. And here we see the moon, we see the past lives, and you recognize that the moon is this deep subconscious where we can get into contact with our past lives, with all the things that we have done. And so maybe we wanted to look deep within it because um, you are ruled by Neptune. Neptune is the dreamer and Neptune is also the mind that has the conscious mind, the subconscious and the higher conscious. And so here you get in the yoga position, fish pose, up dog, down dog. And you can see how she's looking into consciousness while the down dog is looking into this dimension and things that's all there exist, right? And of course we have here fish pose, which of course belongs to you. So recognize that this moment exists only once a year, but if we include all the other planets, then this moment exists only in your lifetime. And so sun and moon here give now this combination, right? Sun in Capricorn, moon in Pisces. The moon is at home now and we see what's gonna come up in this reading. You are in Osho's Tarot, trust. You trust that when you jump, you jump into spirituality because you're the 12th house of spirituality and art. So this is the card for you. And of course, that means that you have a very strong faith and that faith shows by just jumping into the nothingness, right? Is your birthday between February 8th and March 11th? Then this is your court card, if not, look please in the description below i have listed them all there then you might be in the reading before or in the reading after now saturn rules also the world and here in osho's tarot the world is the completion it's the last puzzle and interesting enough it's here at the third eye where exactly also here the um third eye is coming up for Capricorn, the third eye that sees deep within that everything is just perfect the way it is. And so we're going to see what the world wants you to be as a muse, because here on the world I have the uh, muse tarot. And so we're going to look what's talking here. As a muse, what kind of muse are you going to be for the world? The Ace of Materials is coming up. So, very beautiful, you get the 21 and the one is a 22. The 22 is the fool, is then the next card. What kind of foolish idea is coming up? And you see that the world is materialistically thinking about, okay, where or how are we gonna 
use the resources that we still have? Are we exploiting it? Or are we now getting more clever and coming to a completion and understand that we need to work with the earth, that the holy uh, understanding of that the earth is our boss is now upon us, right? And that, that foolish idea is not such a foolish idea because the 22 is a portal in the great, right? In the secret brotherhoods, you have the 11, the 22, and the 33 degrees. And so the 22 here is speaking clearly to you already through this reading, through Capricorn, which is, of course, always the social status that we want to climb up to show to the world, look, we made it, and we did it, and etc., right? And so we're reading to the left because we're going slowly to your new moon, which is in the second next reading. And we look into here the first card, which is the fool, that foolish idea, the zero or the number 22, right? And the 22 brings you here the knight of wands. That's a Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is all about, I'm going to go out, I'm going to explore, I'm going to check the world. And I forgot to look at the last reading, which is Sagittarius Sun, right? That's when we had that moment of Jupiter. And so Sagittarius is coming back again. And here the Sagittarius Sun gave you Pisces Moon the light. Abracadabra, you are finally able to love your magic touch. So you got how big can you make yourself back then? And the magician came up and then here the ace of cups, right? A true love, the wonder and the moon itself. So you got the sign through the moon here to be as big as you can make yourself, right? And so it's a very beautiful message that is um, coming up again here now through the fool that is saying, yeah, remember the reading back then, Sagittarius, right? Sun gave you the light and brought you this uh, empowerment of being Abracadabra, the magician. So keep going magically out, right? That's what Sagittarius is inspiring you. But we are reading to the left. We're going to the new moon. And so here, this moment is just, you are also like learning to walk both ways, right? It's really important for us to understand. Now the fool is connected with Uranus and Uranus is always the change and the new beginnings. Then on the position of the magician comes the owl. The owl is the number 39 and the 39 calculated together, we get a 12, which is the hanged man. Right? And so the hangman is actually letting you know, let go of certain things that don't work, become more clairvoyant, become more like um, visually seeing things that are happening in this world. And the magician, when we add it to it, we get a 40, right? So the 12, when we calculate it together, is a 3, the empress. But here with the 1, it's becoming the emperor. And so them together, it's kind of like that union, right? Which is the nine. The nine is the um, hermit, which is the tantric union deep within us that is giving us the empowerment. Now the magician is connected with Mercury, which is your language and also the mind that understands the message. And I wanted to see what the owl is bringing you. And here came the... Um, Priestess of Swords, and have a look. The Priestess is sending out the Owl, and so the Owl is here, and so it's pointing to the left, and so the Priestess is sending the information um, into the soul path, right? Because the um, Priestess of Swords is turned to the left, and the left is your soul path. And so here you get a direct message. She's the seventh zodiac sign. And we have here the number four. The four and the seven is the 11. The 11 is also a portal. And the 11 is then here to the 22 
the information that now you have truly understood that the 11 is the inner teacher and the 22 now is the one that creates true magic in this world by also honoring the holy money, the earth as the giver of money, right? And so that's the completion that you are recognizing here in the 21, in the 2 and the 1. Or here, of course, in the numbers 10, 10 and 1. 10 is Jupiter. 10 is that twice the Wheel of Fortune is like, okay, yes, the abracadabra, the magician is really letting you know right back then through Sagittarius that now you are picking your own star and then here the atom came right it was really a remarkable and beautiful reading now the Sagittarius is uh, the ninth zodiac sign right and so here you get done with the zero the 90 but also with here we have a nine and the one right which then becomes the four and then with here the seven we have the eleven so there is a nine eleven there is a date also right you can always have a look what the numbers are letting you know then on the position of the high priestess comes here the inner voice and the inner voice is bringing you a 22 again so you have four times the two or two times the 22 right because since they're above each other it's a clear 22 it's a two of the high priestess and the two of swords which is always the lord of peace restored and that's connected with moon in libra and moon in libra is here letting you know that the priestess is bringing through the owl you the message to become more peaceful to come into the center right the moon in libra is like go deeper within and understand how all of this works right because you got the 22 here and now you have again a 22 here how beautiful is this right the owl is flying into this message that you are the 22 the 22 is an important number and so recognize that with this number here as well right which then becomes here the 11 everything calculates together so the seven is the seven chakra so use the seven chakra to heighten your awareness wow so beautiful already then on the position of the um, Empress comes the Hierophant, Le Pape. And the Hierophant is the number five, and she's the number three, so we get an eight. And the eight is the strength that we get when we understand the signs. For me, each time when I get clear signs through a reading, I'm always like so excited, right? It's like, oh my God it's talking right and so here i feel the eight is giving you the strength to understand how beautiful this world can be right and that the message comes down that the three stages are here even the mudra here right two fingers down two fingers up and the thumb in between it's like this is a mudra letting you know that you should be always up in the higher consciousness and in the lower but here in between that's when you do the real work. And that's where the center is of the eight, right? It doesn't matter if the eight is up, the eight, the eight is up or to the side as the infinity sign. The eight is talking and giving you the strength that yes, you can do it. Then on the position of the devil, the Capricorn. I got two cards for some reason. They wanted to come together. I got the Ten of Swords. And so you have two swords here. So you have 12 swords. That's you. Don't think too much. Don't create something that's maybe giving you a headache, maybe giving you the absolute ending of something. 
and the 12 is then the 3, right? Is then the Empress. And the Empress is bringing you the spiritual message of the Pope, the Hierophant, the Triangle. And so the second card that came with it is the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles, in a very beautiful way, is letting you know, start recognizing that the ending here of your mental worries is when you give and when you take equally. When you understand that everything is in an equilibrium, that the six is family and giving and also accepting, and that this six is talking here with the six of the um, Capricorn. And so we have a six, six, and here the 10, but the 10 and the 6 is the 16, which is the tower. Certain things need to go by the way you think giving and taking can take place. You really need to trust that the 66 here is letting you know everything is going to happen just the way it's supposed to happen. Everything has a purpose in this life. And so the purpose is to learn to give and to take and really letting go of this, right? because you already have two swords here, so you get 12 swords, which is then the three, and then the message comes through uh, Taurus, right? Taurus is then the spiritual teacher here. Now, in the Osho Tarot, the um, Capricorn is the conditioning, is the wolf in the sheepskin, is, like I said, the... Um, cutting off the source, right? And putting a rose in a vase and not recognizing that we are losing ourselves, right? Not that there is a devil. We become cut off from the source. And so that's a moment like that, right? Plus the six is the 16 and then the seven comes up here, the seven. And the six is the 13 is the biggest transformation that you can go through and Capricorn is helping you. Capricorn brought you uh, that you have to let go of these conditionings, right? The conditionings that you think you can just do whatever. No, everything has uh, a message. Everything has a sign in it. And so the sun is bringing you to recognize now that you have to really give, give and take equally come into your own balance as a personality, as how you want to be seen out there in the world. Now I'm just going to put this behind, right? On the position of the Knight of Cups, which is the trust here, comes here the guilt. There is a guilt inside of you that is actually agonizing. The Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords is that moment where you're recognizing you have another Eight Swords to the Twelve. Then you have 20 Swords. 20 is the Last Judgment. 20 is the Calling. And your calling is to, to listen to this, to recognize this. What are you guilty of, right? You are flying off, right? The Twelve Zodiac Sign and the Eight is the Twenty as well. But you also have here all the swords, right? The two of swords and the ten of swords and the eight of swords, you have 20 swords. I mean, it's clear there is a calling in those 20 swords, right? And so recognize that. But there is also a 20 right here with you. And so this is your calling to really look into why you feel guilty. What did you do that you feel guilty, that you feel this way, right? So have a look, have a deep look, because the Eight of Swords is connected with Jupiter in Gemini. And Gemini is, of course, you know, the um, Ten of Swords is connected with um, the Sun in Gemini. So you have Jupiter in Gemini and Sun in Gemini. So there is a, a strong communication coming to you through the Owl because uh, Gemini is connected with Mercury, and Mercury brought the owl. 
right, through the magician. Magician is connected with Mercury. So there is an information, very important information that comes through the owl and also through the owl that is now bringing the information out to the Lord of Peace restored. It's very clear, right? She's facing this side. And so it would be here, right? So notice that, right? It's a very interesting uh, message that is coming here to you. Then on the position of the moon, the past lives, you get here the nine of cups. And that's Jupiter and Pisces. So Jupiter brought you uh, Gemini and now Jupiter brings you Pisces. And that's usually the card where we rest, where we enjoy, but here it's called laziness. Ay, ay, ay. So uh, it's usually the wish card, but here in Osho, it's like, look at him. He's like sitting there, he's drinking his pina colada. And of course, connected with this, there is something that is talking to you recognize that you do not want to be lazy you want to be alert you want to be awake you want to be in the completion because the nine is the completion right of sagittarius and the nine is in the owl right that brought you the information of libra and here we had libra the two of swords moon in libra and the priestess of uh, swords, right? So the message is very clear. See that when we calculate the 8 and the 9 together, we get actually a 17, which is the age of Aquarius, right? Which is where Pluto goes in. And you add the 20 here and you have 20 swords and the last judgment is connected with Pluto. And Pluto is going back and forth still this year between Capricorn and Aquarius, but in November the 11th right <laughs> month it's going into uh, Aquarius for good for 20 years I mean it's like the messages are coming down so recognize what's happening here see that right because the 17 is then the 8 and the 8 came here through the Empress and through the Pope and so you have this 8-8 eight, eight portal that you get the message and you don't need to be worried about thinking too much, right? The Eight of Swords, Jupiter and Gemini, and blah, thinking too much. And also here, the Nine of Cups, right? Which is Jupiter in Pisces. Then in the position of the moon again, as the uh, dream oracle, we get here the Nine. We get the dances on one foot, the balancing act. So you are recognizing this here and you are taking that step into the soul deeper down because the 18 turns into a nine and the nine nine portal right is talking and you had a clear nine here and you have the nine in the 90 in the 39 in the owl but you're taking that step nine nine into your new moon you're getting away from being lazy but sometimes this is what happens right we when we go deep to the soul, sometimes it's just it's, it's 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 work, and we become tired. So maybe sometimes you just need to rest. But now it's time to take that step because I wanted to see where do you step into, and it's the eleven. So again, you get a nine eleven here, and the eleven is here, not Libra, Justice. It's the Strength card. She sits here with. All the other zodiac signs, all these animals are here. And she's the number 13, the transformation, remember? Scorpio, big transformation. So here we have a 9-11, also a date. She's stepping into a, an empowerment, into the strength to really be who she is designed to be, right? And so the 9-11, I leave that, of course, as a message. And so see how she's stepping this green um, goddess here with one foot into the green grass that is here, giving you a shelter, a sanctuary, an 11 portal, an inner teacher that is guiding you forward. And then on the position of the sun, which is here in this deck, the innocence. 
here sits then the master he is content he is in the light and look at the goddess coming out of the water you are coming out of the water the number 12 this is you this is Pisces this is your path to come out and be that beautiful energy right the trust that you have as a 12 right the trust that you can cleanse and you're stepping into the sun through Capricorn right and Capricorn did bring you here the 16 which becomes the uh, 7 and so notice what's happening here because the 12 and the 7 is the 19 is the sun so the sun is helping you to let go of this too much thinking and just give and take and give and take and understand that all um, Capricorn is just conditioning and so you coming out of the water right you are with the 19 calculated together a 10 here and the 12 a 3 the 13 the big transformation when you're coming out of the ocean coming out of the water out of the lake right and that's then of course the four the four is then the emperor is that new mental state of consciousness but i wanted to see what is coming here and we get the two of wands which is connected with mars in aries and so the two of wands is teaching you yes continue your path into the new moon because now you have the four that's left here and the two we get a six that's then the lovers right and the lovers is actually now i get the sun just a little sliver how beautiful right and so that's the lovers and the lovers is saying well love yourself just love yourself and everything will flow everything thing will come and go also the fact that you are learning now to give and take the 6-6 six, six portal here right very important that you see that that you understand that that now the 22 here is making sense right that she is looking at her she's looking how she's getting the information how to make fire and it's turning this way right it's like this this is the end right this is the world is bringing you then uh, the full completion of yes i understand now what it's all about the six is self-love love yourself so much step as a completion as the hermit into this water because the hermit is opposite you the hermit is giving you the light for your full moon right that's virgo virgo and pisces they are like a match they're like a couple and then you're stepping into that and recognize yes there it is the message right you are that goddess and you are seeing that from a higher perspective right the financial situation is bringing you now a deep self-worth a deep self-worth a deep completion a deep understanding that all of this has its moment right because when i put them all together it looks like this right so that's why you get the nine going into the pentacles into the ace of pentacles it's important and then you get the two here and you understand ah that's how we make fire and that's how we can create out of the earth money right by the ideas that we have how to make something and then we can sell it and you can see right that the message is very clear because we had the nine here and here's the ninth zodiac signs uh, Sagittarius and so it's 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 clear the message is very uh, strong that you can be a goddess now here uh, for the world and for the water and for all the creatures right for all the people because I mean you know you have also um, the laziness here but now you're really taking that step you know you're not any more lazy you're like okay I'm waking up because you got the strength right you got really a deep strength to step up and go deeper within you into your new moon so i hope i see you in the next reading um that's when we have the sun in um aquarius 
until then, i thank you so much for being with me. namaste.